Creating a minimalist home is not just about having less stuff. It's about carefully selecting the items that reflect the people who live in the house. More importantly, it's about feeling peaceful and comfortable when you're in your own curated clutter-free space. If you're wondering what that looks like, here is a little glimpse into our minimalist home. We live on the windward side of Oahu. It's probably one of the most beautiful places in the world. I feel so blessed to be surrounded by the mountains, the ocean, the beautiful nature at my doorsteps. I mention this because it's the backdrop to this house and it's what makes it even more special. I believe that the entryway says so much about the rest of the house, so I try to keep it neat and tidy most of the time. Next to the shoe rack, I have my rubber plant, which represents abundance, happiness, and prosperity. We probably spend the most time in this living room. I fell in love when I saw the high ceilings with the wooden beams. It's already an open layout, but it makes the room feel even more airy and spacious. Also, there are so many windows, which always fills the room with natural light, and my plants and I love it. I have two art pieces on the wall, both pieces by my favorite artist. Her art is always whimsical and dreamy, and that's the energy I wanted to bring into this space. I purposely kept all the other walls bare because I feel like it brings more focus to those two art pieces. Besides, being surrounded by bare walls and empty spaces can be meditative in a way. Our couch is the centerpiece of this room. I usually prefer the secondhand market for everything else, but I've had bad experiences with a couch in the past, so I'm more picky about it now. I opted for something neutral, comfortable, and something easy to take care of. And once the couch was selected, everything else fell into place. I got this coffee table for free because it was broken, but my husband fixed it up and now it's better than new. This is also his office space, so he keeps all of his devices and personal belongings in this little storage compartment, which hides away nicely when he's not here. The intention behind this room was to remove as many distractions as possible so we can enjoy each other's company. If I feel the need to switch things up, I'll rearrange the furniture, switch out the books, bring in fresh flowers, and that's been more than enough. From the living room, the kitchen is just a few steps away. I don't know if you guys can relate, but to me, it feels like home when I have my favorite pantry items, spices, and condiments in the kitchen. I cook almost every day, so it's really nice having all the things that I need. But I also try not to go overboard with all the little kitchen appliances. In the center of the kitchen, you'll see the open shelves. Not a very minimalist thing to say, I guess, but I love open shelves because I like to see all the things out in the open. Especially because I think mixing and matching tableware can be an art form in itself, so why not display them? It serves both function and beauty. As you can see, this kitchen has so many cabinets, drawers, and storage space, and I think about 80% of it is still empty. I wouldn't even know how to begin to fill it, nor do I feel the need to. But one good thing is that now we can buy non-perishable items in bulk and store them, which saves us quite a bit of money on groceries. Right next to the kitchen, we have our separate dining area. Surprisingly, we've had more people come over to this house compared to our Maui house. No big dinner parties, at intimate little get-togethers, mostly with family, and it's been really nice. Cooking with friends and family and eating together at home is something that I want to do more of in the future.
we have a little hallway that leads into all the rooms. First, our main bathroom. Nothing fancy or special, but I do love that I have a tub now. Also, this towel rack with the little animals, it's so adorable. Across the bathroom is my office. You guys helped me to position the desk this way, and I have to say, the creativity is flowing. For me, clutter gets in the way of clarity, so I wanted to be really intentional with the things I bring into this space. I chose this painting by the same artist to add a bit of color to this room. I have all my books and journals on one shelf of my lamp, so I limit myself from buying too much. And then I use that extra closet space for my capsule wardrobe. Next room is our guest room. Actually, my sister-in-law and her fiance are staying with us right now, and it's been really nice to be able to host them. The room is very simple, but I figured the guests can fill it with their own things so that they can feel more at home. Then finally, our master bedroom. We found this bed frame and headboard on Facebook Marketplace for such a good price and even came with two matching bedside tables. And because we saved money on that, we splurged on the nice sheets and duvet, which is a win-win for me. Like all the other rooms, I just have one hanging wall piece and I chose this beautiful macrame. I feel like it's the perfect decor for a bedroom because it adds texture and warmth to any space that it's in. I do have my little sentimental items scattered throughout the room, my antique jewelry box that I found at a New York flea market that has been with me through thick and thin, and it will go wherever I go. And of course, this is our main closet. I have the rest of my clothes here, and mostly it's my cold climate clothes. The coolest thing about this bedroom is that it has a little half bathroom. So whenever we have guests over, like right now, it's nice to have our own sink to get ready in the morning. Okay, now that you've seen the inside, let me show you the outside. I don't spend a lot of time out here because there isn't much privacy, but of course, it's really nice to have space to dry our clothes, journal, and just hang out with the dogs. This is our first home with a little fenced in yard for the dogs, and I think every dog deserves it. Of course, we still love our walks, but I finally taught Kona, my brown dog, how to fetch, and he is loving life. I have moved so much in my life, lived in over 20 different homes, to know that everything that makes a house a home is within us. It's not about the cool furniture or the contents within, but really, it's the stories that we create within the space. And I think a simple, minimal home really sets the stage so that we can focus on living our best lives. Thank you guys so much for coming over, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye!